guys, so you're probably wondering why am I staring at a Weight Watchers eTools? This is for all my Weight Watcher eTool emails that I got that um, asked me how to use eTools. Okay, so let me go over what you see as the main page. That's me, Stephanie. That's how many points I have left, and that's how many weekly points I have left. Um, again, your daily target points are going to be varied. I only get 27. And you always have an extra 49 allowance. So up here you got my plan. And under my plan you have eTools meetings. What am I at? Okay. Meetings, tracking, using the site, plan manager, site features. Pretty much anything that has to do with your plan. Weight tracker, activity, foods, progress reports, recipe builder, and points tracker. These are the communities you have. You have foods and recipes, fitness, healthy living, success stories, and a community where you have your own screen name and you can communicate with other Weight Watcher members. And this is the marketplace where, you know, you can buy different stuff like books, you know, sponsors, like Progresso is a sponsor. So, um, technically, I'm on week 13 plus. I've been on Weight Watchers for more than 13 weeks. And this is just the big homepage. Now, up here, you have track your food, track your activity, track your weight, and view your progress. Well, I want to track my food today. So I'm going to click that. And for me, it takes a while to load. So I just wait until it's done loading, and it's done loading now. And as you can see, I had 22 points today. It's not fully done loading because it hasn't appeared bright, and there it goes. So I had Coke today. I had a piece of bread, Doritos, turkey, cheese, sunflower seeds, and that is what I ate for the day. I have five points for dinner, which is fine because I'm having a beef stew that's worth five points, so I'm all good. Um, these are my favorites. These are the foods I eat constantly. After three times, it will ask you, do you want to add this to your favorites? Then you have the recently added. These are everything you ate the day before and probably a week back. Here is how many liquids you have drank. How many milk and produce, fruits, vitamins. I don't fill these out, I'll be honest. Just, you know, whatever. Bottom is your quick add. If you already know it's three points, just put it in. There's your calculator. Now to the side, you have your weight tracker. And it takes a while to load on my computer. And you get a chart. I have not weighed in this week because I had difficulties so I click out here's my progress report and this is pretty much like school they give you a good progress report of your highs lows remaining you know your healthy checks all that great stuff find and explore and you can just explore foods if you want to do recipes that's awesome quick meals awesome so you're gonna go to settings and this is where some people get confused because some people have their daily target points, then they go into their activity, and then it dips into your weekly allowance. That's how mine is set up. Mine is set up that way. And, or you could do your weekly allowance and then accumulate. Then you go to weekly points plus. Weight Watchers default. You can always adjust your extras, just FYI. Then you can do swapping activity. Swapping your activity. You could do this weekly or daily or not even at all. I do mine daily, meaning I use my activity points daily. Um, again, this is under settings at the top, right there. And yeah, so. Sorry, finger. <laughs> anyway, so that's how you change it from going to um, daily used activity points to weekly remaining. 
you can always swap it to do daily use remaining then accumulate all your activity points after you use the weekly remaining again that's found in settings and I'm going to show you two one more time and you're going to go swapping activity points I use mine daily remember that you can always change it to weekly up to you so once we're done with that we have activities so let's go back to my points tracker, activity tracker. You can have favorites. I have favorites. I have jogging, walking, elliptical, walking plus, that's, you know, speed walking, elliptical trainer again, and then I have walking the dog. Here's my list of all the activities I've done. Zumba. Zumba cool down. These are the ones I use the calculator with. Now if you want to do activity and you don't know it's not listed and you don't have a polar watch and pretty much you don't have active link I don't have active link because I honestly believe it's not worth it and I've been doing great without it so there's no need to spend something on another program that I've been doing great without so you can't low is you can talk or sing your breathing is regular moderate you can talk but you can't sing you breathe often and deeply and begin sweating after 10 minutes High is when you can talk briefly, but you can't sing. You breathe rapidly and deeply and begin sweating after three to five minutes. So again, it's low, moderate, high. Again, low, you can talk and sing. Moderate, you can talk, but you can't sing. High, you can't even talk. And if you do, it's very briefly, but you cannot sing. So again, you can always do intensity. I have this memorized. So... Um, that's how you use the calculator. So you're gonna put in, I put in Zumba, and I can't breathe for the first 40 minutes of it. So I put 40 minutes high intensity. You have this on your eTools on your app as well. There's nothing different, except the settings can only be moved on a desktop, I believe. So that's it for a wrap up. So hope you like this tutorial of eTools. Bye guys.